everyone welcome back to my channel again this is Annie and uh, welcome back to college video series number three so I really hope in the last two series that you learn some inf uh, informative information that can help you prepare for college and if you have not done so do not forget to give this video a huge like subscribe to my channel if have you have not done so and do not forget to leave a comment to see you know if you have any other questions feel free to ask down below Okay, let's get right into it. So in this video, I want to share with you four preparations that you need to prepare for before going to college. The first is uh, financial preparation. Second is health preparation. Third is emotional preparation and four is logistical preparation. So let's start with number one, the financial preparation. Regardless of whether you are American, local American um, students or um, international students, finance plays a huge important, important role in your college life and in everyone's life in general. Because without a solid financial budget, you can literally go broke or um, you will have financial struggle. If you are paying for your own tuition, I highly advise that you know you set your budget straight to see how much spending you should be making per month. And if you are low on budget or if you don't have the financial capacity, then you know you can always search for alternative options. Like for me, um, I am going to grad school soon, but I know the financial struggle is a huge issues that's why i have to search um on campus job to help me uh, release those financial burden i think you need to also prepare for emergency funds Damn! for local students you might have um emergency credit cards that is attached to your parents and si similar to international students it's just you might need to open a credit card or your parents need to open a credit card that allows international transaction. So this emergency funds is very useful if you encounter emergencies. For example, in in the United States, especially if you live in the East Coast, you know, the weather is very unpredictable, which means that, you know, there can be a heavy snowstorm you might God forbid, but if you have any accident during snowstorms, then you know you might have to go to hospitals, and it does cost a lot of money besides the uh, insurance. So you need to have the emergency funds or the emergency access to funds like credit cards, so that you can pay for those uh, expenses. Second is the health preparation. I think it's very critical that you know you need to have a healthy um, state of mind, physically, emotionally. Um, to prepare to go to college. And health pre preparation here is that, you know, all freshmen or incoming students at the moment require to receive enough vaccines. Vaccine is here, one, the most important vaccines that everyone needs to take before coming to the United States or coming back on campus is COVID vaccine. COVID vaccine is highly required. And um, if you are coming ahead early, as in you come a month or two before col uh, college starts, you can get your um, COVID vaccine here in the United States and get the um, stickers to verify that you know you are fully vaccinated. Why am I suggesting to get like health checkup in your local country or um, wherever you are is because if you're like me living in the in Vietnam, then you know the cost of getting checkup like X-rays or MRIs or PET scan whatsoever cheaper. And also, I think in Vietnam particularly, if you do a full health checkup, then they do very um, thorough analysis. Like they even let you scan or do X-rays on your, like your lungs, your chest. I'm not saying that you know United States healthcare is not good; it's one of the best in the world. But I think the expenses to cover thorough health checkup, like in my local home country, it's it's not very. Um, thorough and not very cheap so that's why i highly advise if you know before coming to college get a full health checkup um so to ensure that you know you're safe you're healthy before coming here checklist number three is emotional preparation it sounds very absurd but let me clarify if you're um 
live in a family that is very constrained or very traditional, then going to um, going study abroad is something that you can escape. You feel freedom. You know, United States is all about freedom and independence. But after a short while, in a few weeks' time, you will feel very homesick. So are you mentally stable and are you mentally ready for the challenges ahead of you? So how do you emotionally prepare um, for this is that, you know, first talk to your friends, like circle of friends. Like in for me, for example, before I go to college, I have a very close um, circle of best friends. And also most of my friends are going to um, study abroad as well. So each person goes to different um, countries. So um, we all in that same boat. So we are very excited as well as very nervous to see what is um, ahead of us, what was ahead of us. So that's why, you know, we share a lot of emotional um, talk so that we understand one another and also we motivate each other. I remember when I first came to the United States, it feels really nice. You know, my parents were here, you know, my brothers were here. So, you know, it felt very homey and, you know, I didn't feel homesick until they leave. So once they leave the United States, I literally cried for every single day for one whole entire month because I was incredibly homesick. I have to call home every night to my parents and say that I cannot study here in the United States anymore. Um, it's very nice that, you know, my cousin supported me. So, you know, I can't, I, I cannot call my parents every single hour and complain. And they, they, it's nice that my parents were very um, motivating and very encouraging at that time. But I think they were also busy with work. So my cousins can help me and, you know, motivate me. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, before you go to college, stay connected with, you know, your friends, you know, also another um, aspect is that, you know, join so now I think social media is very popular. Now Facebook has a lot of pages uh, and a lot of groups that you can join. So you can start, you know, if you're, for example, Boston University um, class of 2026, 20, 2027, you know, you can always join. They will have groups for freshmen very early. So joining those groups, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always ask. Obviously, if you're watching this channel, if you, know, if you have any questions before coming to the United States or things that you need to prepare, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always willing to help you out. Or just shoot me an email. Um, my email address is in the comment section below. So yeah. The fourth preparation is the logistical preparation. So if you live far away, like in Asia, like in the United, in Vietnam or in India or in Thailand, Korea, Japan, you name it, it's pretty far. It's like Asia is here and the United States is here. It's a lot of like it's a huge distance gap, and that's why you know you need to prepare. You know what should you bring from your local country to the United States. Of course, you need to also check on the U.S. Um, embassy or um, government website to know what you can bring and cannot bring to the United States. There are some items that is prohibited, um, such as like raw meat or anything that you can grow, like a plant. So um, they do check, um, depends on where you landed, but the security will check your luggage if they have any um, doubts they will leave a record on your passport so the next time you enter the country you might have to um, get checked everything and another logistic preparation is you know your dorms or places you're staying if you live off campus you know did you a were you able to find a home or like you know a room yet if so you know are you sure it's a legit because you know there are a few scams on the internet at the moment so make sure it's legit legit and you know how do you have the um, homeowner contact information what things you should bring if you're uh, if you're living on campus then you know talk to your roommate if you have one see what he or she is bringing so that you don't buy additional uh, duplicates because the dorm room is very small you do not want to um, have so much items in that room and also you only live in dorms for one year, you need to also take into consideration that you'll be moving um, in your second year. And so those are four preparations that you need to prepare, the financial preparation, health preparation, emotional preparation, and logistical preparation. I really hope that you know you can create a checklist so that you know you can come here 
prepared you know you don't feel scared and you feel more excited so I really hope that you like this video do not forget to d give this video a huge like any other missing information that I forgot to mention or any corrections feel free to leave down the comment and I really hope you like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and also I really hope that you have a very safe fun uh, July 4th okay I talk to you soon bye now Thank <laughs> you.